Verizon and AT&T have announced that they're both delaying their mid-band 5G rollouts because of aviation safety concerns. If this delay continues, it will only give T-Mobile an even bigger head start in rolling out truly next-generation 5G. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on the state of 5G networks rolling out. Now, as we've talked about many, many times on this channel, 5G is being rolled out over three very different types of cellular spectrum. You've got the high, the high end, you've got millimeter wave spectrum, super high frequency spectrum that covers a very, very short area with incredibly fast speeds. So it's really only appropriate for urban cores, convention centers, stadiums, places like that. And then you've got 5G being deployed over low band spectrum, which is basically just LTE spectrum being repurposed. And, well, because it's the same spectrum, it has a lot of the same laws of physics at work. So it has long, long range, just as long, if not slightly better than 4G. But the speeds are really just going to give you, well, really good 4G experience. Nothing truly next generation about it. The Goldilocks spectrum is the mid-band. It is the, the, the mid-frequencies that give you a decent amount of range, enough to cover a town, a suburb, you know, decently out into a wider area, but to still deliver some really, really impressive speeds. And on T-Mobile mid-band, we've actually seen real-world speeds over 500 megabits per second download, which is astonishing. That is like home cable modem speeds in your pocket, on your hotspot, on the go. Um, but the catch is, well, mid-band spectrum has been kind of hard to find, particularly in the United States. That was the main reason that T-Mobile purchased Sprint, was to get access to all of uh, Sprint's mid-band spectrum, and that's why T-Mobile, because they had that existing spectrum, has now been able to get a big head start in rolling out next-generation 5G, what they're calling 5G UC, or 5G Ultra Capacity. And AT&T and Verizon, well, of course, they want to bring out mid-band 5G as well, They've been buying up Spectrum. They participated in the uh, FCC's giant C-band auction and bought up the rights to a lot of Spectrum earlier this year and had plans to start turning it on as early as this December, coming up December 2021, um, to start letting them compete with a truly next-generation 5G experience. But, well, now suddenly there's a delay. It turns out that you know, there have been concerns all along that the C-band Spectrum kind of is border bordering some of the spectrum that is used by radar altimeters inside of aviation, inside of airliners. And the FAA has put out a warning saying, you know, we're not totally comfortable with this, so we might have to shut down airports or delay flights or cause, you know, aviation delays if they continue with this rollout in December. Uh, meanwhile, the FCC had done their own research and said, no, no, this spectrum's good to go. The interference concerns are not really founded. But with the FAA putting out their own warning, well, the carriers and the FCC are like, okay, let's all just hit pause for at least a month, so from December to January, to spend a little bit more time evaluating this before we turn on the spectrum and see what the issue is. So, so is there really an aviation safety issue? Um, a lot of experts don't really think so. The spectrum is being used in other countries very actively, and there have been no reported issues. But when it comes to safety, it really can't hurt to do a little bit more homework, to double-check things. And, you know, I think in some ways it might just be the FCC and FAA both wanting to, you know, kind of throw their weight around and, you know, see who's got the, the most leverage on this. And uh, hopefully in the very near future, the two agencies and the Verizon and AT&T will work this out and get their plans back on track. If not, the big winner is going to be T-Mobile. If Verizon and AT&T have to keep holding back on their mid-band spectrum, uh, T-Mobile has got an even more of a head start rolling out really, truly next-generation 5G performance. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.